Hello everyone, this is Ryan with The Daily Pwn, and today we're talking about the ritual on Whalen Island. Sorry we're not here to meet you. The storm got too bad. Uncle Brian, Finn, and Megan are here. The Ritual on Whalen Island is advertised as a first-person survival horror game set in a remote island. You play a 22-year-old visiting her grandfather's remote island to meet her family and hear the reading of his last will and testament. Upon arrival, you quickly discover that all is not well on the island. In fact, your goal becomes apparent almost right away as you struggle to find your family while escaping the horrors that surround you. The story told throughout the game is pretty interesting. The heavy influence of classic horror stories is apparent with a lot of the typical horror elements present. You are alone. You have to venture through unknown territory in search of someone and you are never safe. The way the story is told comes off a bit rushed. From the moment you arrive on the island, the main plot points are laid out in the first five minutes of gameplay. Gameplay is pretty standard for a first-person perspective title, however, you will not be wielding any weapons here. Your interaction with the environment is limited to opening doors, picking up items, and interacting with objects to ensure your survival. One jarring element of gameplay involves the quasi-cutscenes where the character's head is taken over by the game in order to direct the player's view to match the narrative. I found myself wanting to look around or focus on a specific object while the character was speaking, but this control is locked out, so you end up just going along for the ride. Bugs are evident throughout the game. Picking up a wallet and looking at the ID inside before putting it back in your pocket may result in the wallet being left in suspended animation. Object selection is also kind of picky. You have to hover right over the exact right spot in order for things to work. Graphics are indicative of the game's indie DNA. It would be cutting edge in 1998. Blood has a density to it and it sits on top of objects rather than soaking in or staining them. That said, there is no less of a feeling of absolute urgency and horror when you're being chased through the house by what would appear to be a crazed madman. The voiceover work in Ritual of Wayland Island is pretty good, but the sound mixing could use some work. As you enter the island, your short conversation with the boatman is poorly mixed, taking you out of the immersion just for a moment. At certain points, it becomes obvious that you're playing a game and not being immersed in this virtual world. Sound effects, however, are well used. Hearing someone scratching at the door, your praying doesn't open. The sound of water and rain, etc. are all very well done. As long as no one is talking, I found myself becoming extremely immersed despite the simple graphics. The Ritual of Wayland Island achieves its goal of delivering an interesting story, an element of urgency and horror, and all this despite its outdated graphics and basic audio mixing. At $9.99, this is a reasonably priced title. Unfortunately, it has to compete with a swarm of other horror indie games that feature better graphics, superior audio, and an equally gripping story. For The Daily Pwn, this has been Ryan saying good game, no rematch.